So, on the final episode of The Valley, I'm going to be talking to some of my fellow interns, talking to the woman in charge of it all, Miss Curtis, and I'm also going to be talking to some seniors. Lastly, I'm going to be saying the final senior Ida status of the week. So, let's get started. I currently intern at Shady Grove Aventus Hospital. I intern at Car Salon Spa in Gaithersburg, Maryland. My internship experience was pretty good, and what I learned at my internship was how to do cast and how to talk to patients. My internship experience was amazing. I loved it. I plan on taking away all the new things that I've learned to help me become a better hairdresser. I would tell interns next year to put up with all the crap your mentors are going to give you because then eventually they'll let you do something you want to do. One thing I would tell interns for next year is to pick an internship that you would like to actually be seeing yourself doing in the future. That way you know it's something you actually want to do. On the right side of the bed What's up with this brain song inside my head Hands up if you're down to get down tonight it's always a good time. After high school, I plan on going to college. After high school, I plan on moving back to Seattle, Washington and doing community college for two years and then transferring to University of Washington. I basically plan on doing the same exact thing as her. Um, we plan to go off to college together, so that should be fun. Uh, as soon as I get out of Seneca, I plan on going to Montgomery College the Germantown campus. So, yeah. Same. I'm scared of like being on my own for the first time because I've always, you know, like been reliant on my parents, so it will be weird being on my own. Um, but I'm really excited to start like a new chapter in my life and see where it leads me. I think I'm most scared because I have to be very like self-reliant and I feel like when you're in high school, you don't really know exactly what the real world's going to be like until you actually are like pushed into the real world. So it's going to be interesting to see how I take it. I think I'll, I'll be okay. I'm most scared of... I don't know. I don't want to do this. I would tell incoming freshmen to do their best. I would tell incoming freshmen to work really hard because I guess freshmen have the mentality that oh they have so much time before they graduate but high school really goes by really fast so you really want to make sure every year you're doing the best you can because um, you want you know to get to a good school and you know you don't want to mess up that this year's interns have done an excellent job. They were well prepared. They went out into their prospective internships with vigor and excitement. And I feel that they've gained the necessary skills and experiences uh, necessary to equip them to make decisions about their careers. I would like for them to gain, I think the purpose of any internship program is to provide students the opportunity to explore careers. Things they've thought about majoring in college, things they've thought about going into as a career later on in life. And the goal for this internship program is to make sure that students have the opportunity to explore those options. The advice that I would give any student wanting to be involved with an internship program is to know yourself. Uh, basically, you need to know 
what are things are you good at, what are your likes, what are your dislikes, and then I would advise the student to research. See what career opportunities are available and try to match those career opportunities with their current interests and skills. Now for the Senior Ida Status of the Week. It is at 100%. Us seniors, we are out of here. The school year is almost over. And it's not just because we're graduating, it's also because summer's here and the warm weather's around. And it's just been easy to get lazy and slack off. So it's at 100 this week. Well, that's it for the Valley. This series has been so much fun to make. Thank you to Montgomery Community Media for giving me this opportunity. Make sure to go over to mymcmedia.org, give this video a thumbs up, and thank you so much for watching this and visiting the Valley.